What's up, everybody? Welcome back to more Big Island Adventures. On this segment, we are going down Captain Cook Memorial Trail. Uh, this was also one that came highly recommended from the interwebs. And I got done with my morning dive and decided to check it out. So here it is. Um, can't really tell where it is in relation to everything, but it's about Midwest part of the island. Um, and it uh, goes down on a run trail. I don't think it's uh, owned by the Park Service. Uh, well, it might be. It might be. I think there's a sign for it at least. But there's no parking. You got to pull off the side of the street and park. Um, and in fact, they got some no parking signs around there. But luckily, I didn't get a ticket. So anyway, let's get into it. This is right at the very start. Uh, it wasn't, wasn't much to see in the beginning, um, but it, about halfway down it really opens up and you get some beautiful views of the water and the coast and, and everything. Uh, one thing about this hike is it is straight downhill on the way down and that means it's straight uphill <laughs> on the way back. There is uh, no relief in that department. So if you're going to go, be prepared to uh, do some walking. I guess somebody dished their jeep there. I don't know. <laughs> what am I doing? Is that a spider web? It might have been a spider web. Next. Oh, wait, look at that tree. That's an, that's an impressive one. How about that? Somebody's house. Private property, I'm sure. No. Not really a house, but a little skinny. Um, yeah, you could tell. <laughs> Had to move over for some people coming up occasionally. Now, this is a really good snorkeling spot, too, so I did do some snorkeling. I uh, <laughs> So I had my fins and mask and things with me in a total lapse of judgment. I failed to bring my... GoPro housing or floaty stick and <laughs> I was terrified of going in the water without the floaty stick you know in case I dropped the camera I'd lose everything and at the time I didn't have any backups of oh, there's a goat <laughs> yeah these goats at first I thought that these were somebody's you know this they're coming from somebody's farm but no I think these goats just have free reign over the island. I don't think they belong to anybody. Hey, buddy. They're just munching. They were a little skittish, but not too bad. Got some horns there. But, um... Yeah, I didn't bring my floaty stick. I was terrified to take my camera in the water, so I kind of rigged something up. I pulled out a shoelace and kind of looped it around my camera and tied a... Um, I had to look this up. <laughs> uh, what what kind of knot was it? Bowline, maybe? I can't even remember now. It's a knot that I learned in a search and recovery dive cert. We had to learn three knots, and of course, I've totally forgot them all by now, but, um, it was just a different perspective, kind of looping it through the camera, so that in itself took me some time to kind of <laughs> visualize how that all was going to work, but essentially I made a little wrist strap out of a shoelace and attached my camera to that, so, uh, I couldn't drop it. That took a long time, actually. <laughs> I'm sure I want to admit that, but it turns out tying a knot is a lot for my brain to comprehend. Yeah, these goats, they're just they're everywhere. Tiny little suckers. That one's not scurred. He ain't scurred. <laughs> He was munching. What you munching on? Found some grass over here. 
That's tasty. All right, moving on. <laughs> that startled me at first. All right, what do we got next? Ah, more goats. Yeah, I think I got quite a bit of video and pictures of the goats. So. <laughs> you gonna see some goats. You can tell the trail's starting to open up, and yeah, here it is. So it's kind of dense in the shrubbery, and then boom, you get, uh, get that ocean staring at you. Look at that landscape. Spectacular. Wow. Really nice. I forget how long this was. Uh, two miles, maybe. It's uh, it's with the hill. It's, it's uh, it's no joke. <laughs> uh, be prepared if you if you go down this one. It's uh, it's a long slog on the way back, but uh, you'll make it. You'll make it. Just continuing on down the hill. So the significance of this, and there's a monument at the bottom. Uh, so Captain Cook, this is Captain Cook Memorial Trail. He, he was the first proven known, anyway, European to land in Hawaii. Uh, there's some evidence that I think the Spanish may have found Hawaii before him on routes uh, to South America. Um, and just, uh, yeah, it took some... Beautiful pictures here. Uh, but I don't know. I, th I think that's kind of debated whether they actually found Hawaii or not. But Captain Cook, for history purposes, <laughs> he'll say in your history book that he was the first European to land in, uh, in Hawaii in the late 1700s, I believe. 1780-something. Goats were making noise. I was trying to listen for it. Oh, yeah. um, but he actually, I think I'm going to get this right. So he landed here, and I don't know when exactly, but uh, the locals killed him, ended up killing him. I think that he kidnapped their leader in an effort to essentially use him as a ransom for concessions or something. Because apparently that worked in other, other than uh, other cases, <laughs> and uh, Hawaiians aren't having it. They stormed his boat, killed him, and stole one of his boats too. I think so. This is supposedly the place right around where he was killed, where he died, and uh, that's kind of the whole point of the the monument you're going to see at the end. Yeah, Hawaii really isn't that old in terms of. Discovery. Warning, falling rocks. Yep, okay. There's a nice looking tree. All right, finally made it to the bottom. No launching or landing of any vessels from this location. Shoot, okay. It is, uh, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, yeah, they don't want you using sunscreen that's damaging to the coral. Stay away from the dolphins. Unfortunately, I did not see any dolphins. Um, apparently, this is a pipe their spot for them, but they uh, they were not here when I was. And here's my first approach. Getting getting busy already. This is probably a much better entry or exit point than I did. So getting into the water is actually pretty easy, but getting out was not. And uh, I'll show you that. I actually got... Had a few scary moments getting in and out of the water, or getting out of the water. Um, I kind of wanted to wait for a wave to, you know, give me some momentum and kind of push me up. 
Um, yeah, here we go. In commemoration of the 200th anniversary of the arrival of the Pacific Ocean, no, of the arrival in the Pacific Ocean of Captain James Cook, R.N., on his first voyage of the Discovery, 1768-1775, in the Bark Endeavor, presented by Swedish American Line, on the occasion of a visit by M.S. Kung. Ah, right, you get the point. <laughs> 1786, there you go. I guess that's when he landed. And here's the memorial. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in and read that. In memory of the great circumnavigator, Captain James Cook, R.N., who discovered these islands on the 18th of January, A.D. 1770, and fell near this spot on the 14th of February, A.D. 1779. This monument was erected in November, A.D. 1874 by some of his fellow countrymen. So there you go. He discovered Hawaii in 1770. And was killed here in 1779. So I guess he made a few trips back. And there's just another picture of it. So this right here. This is where I tried getting out of the water with these crashing waves. And I thought, you know, I could get in real quick before it swept out. And that proved to be incorrect. <laughs> um, so yeah, this, I was riding the wave in. And uh, I thought I could get out quick enough. And man, when it started pulling me back, I was hanging on for life. It was... <laughs> uh, I got scraped up a little bit. I'm glad I was able to get a hold. If that had swept me out, I could have bumped my head. I mean, who knows what. It could have been... Could have been pretty nasty. That water, uh... You learn real quick how much energy it's got. Alright, finally into the snorkeling. <laughs> so this is about an hour later after I... After I, uh fastened my little, little uh, wrist strap that I told you about, and I'm using my uh, snorkel with no mouthpiece, because <laughs> I lost that earlier today or yesterday, and uh oh, is it selfie time? Yeah, selfie time. Yeah, you can see my mouthpieceless snorkel there. But uh, yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty shallow, but it dropped off very quickly. I'd like to know how deep it is here. I kept waiting to see a shark coming from the abyss or something, but that never happened. <laughs> a lot of the same fish I saw diving, just uh, they were doing it in the, in the shallow parts too. I don't know what I'm doing here. I love these black fish with the, I think those are trigger fish maybe? The uh, white accent on their joint there. I saw a lot of those in Cozumel. Yeah, there they are. I found a school of them just below the surface. <laughs> My breathing sounds weird. <laughs> Just below the surface. A boundary of boundary of worlds. Swimming around pretty good with the fins on. Yeah, you can see it gets gets pretty deep pretty quick. Visibility dies. I don't know how deep it is around here. It was, it was great snorkeling. Great snorkeling. I actually had, uh... I had my dry bag with me with all my stuff. My wallet, phone, car keys. I just, I didn't trust leaving it on the shore. <laughs> Maybe I could have, I don't know. But... Uh, that dry bag is great. It's uh, it's perfect for something like this. At some point, 
I think my lens got scratched. I don't know when that happened. Or, uh, lens cover. I've got a protector on it. I need to change that out, actually, because of the scratch. I've noticed it really, uh... Really affects the affects the videos. You can you can see it. In fact, I think I was taking a quick preview of these. I think walking up the hill, uh, it was scratched. I've been wondering where that happened, so it must have happened here. I don't know when or why, but I need to replace that. It's uh, not not doing me any favors for video quality. But so far, it looks like. Uh, not scratched yet. Lots of yellow fish there. <laughs> it's a little, uh, this water is a little, a little murkier, I guess. I mean, obviously the visibility is still pretty good, but I bet being close to the shore, just with the waves and the surf, it might, uh, you know, kick stuff up a little more. You can tell there's a lot of stuff floating in the water here. You can see it in the suspended in the sunbeams. Oh, this looks a lot clearer. Might just be a matter of perspective from this with the uh, sun. Waiting on the Kraken to come up from the depths, but uh, he never came. I was a little disappointed. Actually, one thing, uh, while I was here, a boat pulled up. Um, yeah, so I guess if you want to see Captain Cook, but don't want to walk two miles down the mountain and back up, you can uh, take a boat here. And they, uh, yeah, they pulled up and gave everybody a... Uh, Mask and snorkel and floaties, and so they do a snorkeling trip down here, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Time for, uh, felt like I needed some more selfie action, clearly. Uh, yeah, they had a bunch of people out snorkeling, and they had somebody, kind of a lifeguard, I guess, on a paddleboard, keeping an eye on them, and I think they got in, I don't know. 30 minutes or so and then it was time to pack it up and, and head on out of there but that'd be a cool little boat trip Oh, yeah, I remember that fish. I like those. I have no idea what they are, but very pretty fellers. The red or with the uh, yellow, black, and white. Didn't, did not see any octopus here either. down pretty deep. I'll take my gear out here, see what's down there. <laughs>
Just a few videos left. Starting to get uh, more of the same here, but. <laughs> hey, fishy! This was uh, just a real good spot. Oh, yeah, got some right below the surface there. A little gar, gar like fish. Yep. <laughs> Really, a boundary between worlds. How different things are from one to the other. One more look at my exfil spot. Yeah, I really got lucky. That's that's what I was trying to swim up into, and uh, as soon as that water pulled back, it was, it was bad news bears. I, <laughs> uh, I was struggling. I think most people are kind of kicking up and uh, getting a spot on this wall. Yeah, over on that side. Um, I should have done that. I thought this was the better look over here, but uh, I came to regret that decision. I was just sitting on this wall taking a break now. I, <laughs> yeah, there's uh, some of the damage. I'm very lucky that's all all that happened. And now it's time to go back up the hill. Yeah, you can see that reflection kind of on the right side. That's a scratch I'm talking about, so if all the videos from here on out are going to have that weird reflection. Uh, i got to replace the lens cap. In fact, I bet... Or not the lens cap. Yeah, I saw these yellow birdies and thought they deserved some air time. <laughs> not the lens cap, just a protective cover. I mean, it's like a, you know, screen protector kind of thing. And, uh, yeah, I bet, I bet I scratched it when I was struggling to get out of the water. That's got to be what happened, because that thing was just dangling on my wrist. It was probably getting beat up on the rocks. Yeah, I, I bet my next paycheck, that's when it scratched up. And, uh, yeah, it's been on it, been that way ever since, so I gotta, I gotta replace that. Or maybe just get a new camera. I don't know. I'm pretty invested in this one with the batteries and the accessories. I have a GoPro 8. And I think they're up to an 11 now, so... I don't know. There's some goats on top of the mountain. <laughs> Goat on the trail. Or goats on the trail. Yeah, that, that reflection is just really bad. You can see it. It's really screwing these photos up. That's a bummer. I thought maybe I was trying to listen to a bird there, but no, that's it. This is back at back at the trailhead finally. Uh this is their confusing parking sign. I <laughs> No parking except on shoulder, no parking anytime. So I originally was parked to the right. And I guess reading the sign now makes sense, but I saw the one, you know, no parking except on shoulder. I was like, I'm on the shoulder, but yeah, the arrows are making the distinction there. And I think really I was also going for the spider. You can see the spider on the uh left left below the sign there. That's uh He was looking for some bugs. But anyway, that'll do it for Captain Cook. Uh it was a fantastic hike. Awesome snorkeling. Definitely check it out. I think coming up next, we got some more diving. And uh, I will see you there.